Welcome back, fellas, into this new video of Tech for Us. Today, let's take out how we can connect your Instagram and Facebook directly into your Shopify store. So here we have a requirements checklist that we needed to have with the check mark. First of all, we need to have a Shopify account with a current uh, store that is currently active. So make sure that you have a current store active. You want to close the sign into Shopify, focus into settings, and into settings, focus into the option that says plan. Into plan, you want to make sure that this one has whatever plan you have to and make sure this one is active. Otherwise, this process won't work. So once you've done this process, you might need to have access to the Facebook Business Manager. In so Google, just type Facebook uh, Business Manager or uh, you can type uh, Meta Business Manager. So both are exactly the same as you are into Google.com. Inside of Facebook Business Manager, if you have already signed in directly with your Facebook or your Instagram account, you're going to be creating or you're going to be having access to the Meta Business Suite as it appears in here. Really easily processed. Now that you have access into the Meta Business Suite, the next thing you need to have is to have access to the Instagram Business Account. So basically, this uh, requirement is not that important. If you already have an Instagram account, you can connect both accounts inside the Meta Business Suite. So the next thing is to have products to add it to Shopify. If I go into my Shopify, focus into products, I wanted to make sure that here I have the products already been active. So with that being said, I have now uh, all the requirements ready to get started. Now, uh, the very first thing I wanted to do, of course, once I hit now into Shopify, once I signed it in, I wanted to focus into this left section that says sales channel and focus and choose the option that says Facebook and Instagram. So if you don't find one, you can of course go directly into the app store of the Shopify so you can locate that. Let's go here into the settings and I'm gonna try to deactivate the shop and do this process once again for you guys. So the very first thing or the next thing to do is to connect your Instagram directly into Shopify. Once you have added the Facebook and into the Instagram sales channel application, it should be asking you to start selling into Facebook and Instagram. Make sure that you have decided in with your Facebook account. So once I hit now into start my setup, it should be asking you to complete the setup to start selling your products into Facebook and Instagram. Now to continue with this process, I can strongly suggest you to connect both accounts inside the Meta Business Suite, the Facebook and the Instagram account. So if you go directly here to the Meta Business Suite, you might be having access to a specific business portfolio. If you don't have a business portfolio, just click here into the upper side, type create a business portfolio into your first last name, as well as a business email, and here should be added your business portfolio. Inside the business portfolio, you might be having now access to your account, in my case, the Facebook account. Now I needed to connect my Instagram account inside here. So let's go for logged into Instagram, hit now to continue, and you now have access with both Instagram and uh, Facebook in just one place. In my case, I'm going to be using this one. So here it is. Now let's go back. Let's go for the option that says connect your account. Since you have already signed in into Facebook, just hit into continue as yourself. App is going to be asking you which is the account that we would like to import into Shopify. So here you have the business assets it's going to be displaying tons of elements that we can use for our connection. So choose one of the best suits for yourself. In my case, I'm going to go all the way up and select this one and hit now to connect. Now, I have a business portfolio. Remember that we have already created a business portfolio. If you haven't done that process, uh, by now you can create a new, uh, new business portfolio inside Shopify. But I can strongly suggest you do that inside the Meta Business Suite. So let's go for select, connect. Now that this process has now been successfully done, it should be asking you to agree to the terms and conditions and submit for the review. Now Shopify might be taking a few minutes to finalizing the channel setup. So your shop, you can start, start shopping into Facebook and start running ads into Facebook and into Instagram. Basically, I need to focus into the left part that says settings. 
and inside settings I can use to make sure that all my information, all the connections that I have done here for Metapesasit are exactly the same as it appears into Shopify. Once you have now successfully done this process, it should be now it should be now helping you to get started, for example, with the shop into the review. Have the run on into Facebook, you can focus into the settings, and you can see that we have uh, we can add pexels, we can have the shipping settings, we have the shop into Facebook and Instagram. Here you can choose the option that says connect where you can add your own Instagram account and everything should be just connected directly here into Shopify. Now there's another process where you can just start selling directly here into Instagram and directly selling here into the marketplace of the Facebook. Now this process is something a little bit more not difficult but it might be taking a few more steps extra but now with this tutorial you now know how to connect your facebook and into instagram inside of shopify so we have now make a really strong connection if you wanted to just use this info you wanted to use the sales channel to sell into facebook and into instagram as well you needed to follow the prompts in order to get started but i must tell you so far that you needed to verify your business with all your legal information in order to continue so with that being said we have not reached the very end of the video but don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thank you guys so much for watching the video and hopefully you can all see you next time